We were granted an extensive interview with Dr. Oz Janelle less than a month before the election. This is a critical seat that could decide the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. Republican Senate candidate Dr. Mehmet Oz talked with employees and took pictures with customers at the Linden Diner in Lancaster as Election Day nears. Afterward, we talked one-on-one -on -one with him about the issues voters say are important to them in this critical Senate race, including abortion rights. I'd be honored to state my position as a pro-life. I have three exceptions, life of the mother, rape and incest, and I strongly believe the federal government should not be interfering with how states make these decisions. We pressed him on how he'd vote for a bill. Does that mean you would vote against Lindsey Graham's bill to ban abortion after 15 weeks? I'm going to be very hesitant to having the federal government do anything around abortion. Not ready to say outright <laughs> that you would vote against it. I think my position is pretty clear. I don't think the federal government should be involved in the decisions that states should be making. Oz has gained ground in the polls against Democrat John Fetterman, focusing on the economy and crime, while Fetterman has attacked the Republican for being out of touch with Pennsylvanians and promoting medical advice and products on his TV show that didn't work. You don't think there was anything irresponsible, ideas, dangerous cures on the show? Not at all. We did our homework. We were very buttoned up and we had a, a strong team that was able to vet the ideas we were talking through. And, and I'm proud that I was able to allow Americans to have the option of hearing about these ideas. Now, as for his opponent, Dr. Ross says he prays and hopes for a full recovery for John Fetterman, but agrees with media outlets, including the Washington Post, ourselves here at WGL, to release his current medical records. Barbara Barr, WGL News 8.